Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve a word problem on whole numbers. And in this word problem, we have a table. Okay, it's, it's nothing different from how you solve a, a regular word problem. It's just that, you know, the data given to you, the information given to you about this problem is in a tabular form. So let's read the word problem first. It says that following are the rates that a cab charges. So here's the table of rates. And it says that uh, there are two columns in it. First one is the distance traveled and the second one is the rate. Okay. And what it says under that is under the distance travel is that for the first kilometer or less of travel, you pay $2 to the cabbie. And for every additional 200 meters or less than 200 meters, you pay 20 cents. Okay, and the question asked of you is, how much do you pay for a four kilometer ride? Now, how the payment for cab rides work is, you know, once you sit inside a cab, you know for sure that you'll at least pay the cabbie two dollars when you get out of the cab. What that means is, you know, you probably have traveling cabs and when you when you sit inside a cab, the cabbie will probably turn on a meter. It's got a meter. It's called a taxi meter or something like that. So when you sit inside the cab, uh, the cabbie will turn on the meter. He's probably got a meter that will look something like this. He's got the dollar, the amount of payment that you need to make somewhere over here and the distance traveled somewhere over here, which will say like, you know, whatever the distance traveled is in uh, kilometers. So it will say like 5.2 kilometer or, you know, something like this. Anyway, so uh, whether it's in dollars, whether it's in dollars or another unit or whether it's kilometers or miles or whatever it is, it just means that, you know, on the meter, you will, there will be a reading for how much uh, amount uh, is due and, and on the meter, there'll be also reading for how much distance you have traveled. So this is amount and this is your distance. Now, now, as we just uh, saw in the table, there's a relation between the distance that uh, you travel and the amount that is due to be paid to the taxi uh, to the taxi driver. OK, so now what happens is like, you know, when you travel, when you travel in a cab, this is how the payment works, at least for this table over here. OK, so this is the rate that's given to you and this is the travel, uh, the distance traveled. So this is how it will work for this particular table given in the question. Let's say, let's uh, see how much distance you traveled here, four kilometers. So you started at zero kilometers. Okay, this is just zero kilometer. This is the distance line, okay, which is which corresponds to this one. So you you sat in the taxi car at zero kilometers, and then the taxi or the cab he traveled the first kilometer. Okay, then he traveled another kilometer, then another one, and then another one. At four kilometer you stopped. So this is one kilometer, this is your two kilometer, this is the three kilometer mark, and this is the four kilometer mark. All right, so the first kilometer is important. So when you sat in the taxi car, the first kilometer that you traveled, the first kilometer from zero kilometer to one kilometer, you pay a certain amount of money which doesn't change whether you travel one kilometer or less than one kilometer you're gonna pay a minimum of two dollars so if you stop at here or here or here or here you're still gonna pay the cabbie two dollars so this part is never gonna change okay for this table at least so for this part from zero kilometer to one kilometer you'll always be paying two dollars to the cabbie now the next part is different okay from one kilometer to four kilometers is different how that one works is that for every 200 meters of ride you pay 20 cents so now from one kilometer to two kilometer to three and to four from so or in short from one kilometer to four kilometer you will be paying for every 200 meters of ride now to find out how many 200 meters are there in one kilometer, let's do some calculations, okay? One kilometer. How many meters are there in one kilometer? Well, in one kilometer, there are 1,000 meters. And we have to find out how many 200 meters are there in 1,000 meter, okay? Or in one kilometer. So what you do is you have your 1,000 meters here, okay? This is your 1,000 meters. 
and you have to divide this into 200 meter parts. So what you do is simply 1000 meters divided by 200 and that will give you 5. So there are actually 5 200 meters. So you divide this entire 1000 meter into intervals of 200 and each of this and each of these is 200 meters. So so if one kilometer or 1000 meter has got five 200 meters or five 200 meter part, this is one, two, three, four and five. Okay, let's try to understand it using the model way, okay? Because the model way is the most, is the easiest way to understand any problem. So let's make a model. Here is the model and this is your first kilometer as we said earlier. So we write that down here, first one kilometer. And no matter how much distance you travel from zero to one kilometer, whether you travel the whole one kilometer or whether you travel less than one kilometer, you'll always pay a sum of $2 to the cabbie. So this is your two, first $2 for the cabbie. Okay, and let's uh, put color in it. So that's your first uh, one kilometer that corresponds to this part over here, okay, on the, on the distance line. This is the first kilometer. Okay, this and this is the same. Now, for the next three kilometers, three kilometers because you've already traveled the first kilometer and you'll be traveling a total of four kilometers. So, four kilometer minus the first kilometer will give you the next three kilometers. Okay, so the next three kilometers, let's write that down here, is this guy here. Next three kilometers. Okay, and let's uh, paint it blue. So this is the second part, which is which is this guy here. Actually, this one here, okay, in the table. Okay, the first one was th this part over here in the in the model diagram corresponds to this first row in the table. First kilometer less is two dollars, which is this, and the next three kilometers is the every additional two hundred meters or less is twenty cents. All right. Okay. So let's uh, go come back to our uh, model diagram. Now we know that for every additional 200 meters after the first kilometer, you will pay 20 cents. Now, so let's find out how many 200 meters are there in the next three kilometers. Now we did a little calculation here that on the, in this one, in this part here, if you uh, focus on the right side of the screen, we said that the, that every kilometer has 1000 meters okay every one kilometer is equal to 1000 meters and 1000 meters have got five 200 meters so you can divide 1000 meters into five 200 meters right we did the calculation here 1000 divided by 200 and that gave us five so every kilometer has got five 200 meters how many 200 meters will be there in three kilometers so let's find that out okay we divide we say that three kilometers is equal to 3,000 meters because one kilometer is equal to 1,000. So then three kilometers are equal to 3,000 meters. 3,000 meters divided by 200 is equal to 15. And that means there are 15, 200 meters in this three kilometers. So let's see, let's uh, go back to our model diagram and let's divide that, okay? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And this is 14 and this is 15, okay? So this is your first 200 meters. This is your second 200 meters, third 200 meters, and so on. This is the 14 200 meters, and this is the 15 200 meters. So this total distance is equal to, from here to here, is 3,000 meters, okay? The next three kilometers, but we don't know how much the cabbie will charge for that. But we do know that for every 200 meters after the first kilometer, okay, mind you, after the first kilometer, every 200 meter is chargeable at 20 cents. Every 200 meters or less. So if you travel for less than 200 meters, you still pay 20 cents, okay? Whether you travel 100 meters or 150 meters or 200 meters, you still pay 20 cents, okay? Then for the next 200 meters, it's still the same. So you pay 20 cents. All right. So every 200 meter is chargeable at 
20 cents. Now, let's see how many 20 cents uh, he will collect for the next 3 kilometers. So, we know that there are 15 200 meter parts. So, if there are 15 200 meter parts and every part is chargeable at 20 cents, then how much uh, will the total be? How much uh, will the cabbie collect in total for the next 3 kilometers? He'll collect 15 times 20 cents and that's equal to 300 cents or three dollars so then this question mark is equal to three dollars that's what it means but for the entire four kilometer ride for the entire four kilometer which is the pink part as well as the blue part how much will that cost you well that will cost you the pink part plus the blue part the pink part is equal to two dollars and the blue part is equal to three dollars so you will be due to pay five dollars for the four kilometer ride so that's that about this word problem for more word problems and for practice exercises as usual visit www.homecampus.com.sg this is m signing off for now bye